everyone and welcome back or to my channel. This looks like I'm about to film a, film a porno, but yeah. That's crooked. So, I'm wearing a really little cut shirt because I haven't worn this shirt in a while, but we're all ladies here, right? Or we're all mature here, right? <sighs> anyway, so I thought I would film my um, Project Pan update because I filmed this yesterday. But of course, my face was so greasy and so was my hair. I ended up washing it last night and today I'm going out for dinner, so I look a little bit more put together. So, I'm just going to talk about my products from last time and this is not in order, as usual. But, I'm just going to grab products and start. So, this is my e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. This is what the progress I have on it. It's at less than half right now, as you can see. Yep, I marked it a little lower on accident because when I was marking it, it was pretty hard to tell. But I'll be so glad when this is out of my collection because it's starting to smell like farts. I have a feeling that's because it's mixed in with like, I guess my skin or something. And it just doesn't smell like cucumbers and aloe anymore. Moving on, I have my Skin Food Pineapple Peeling Gel. Uh, last time, I weighed this, but I have been using this about like once or twice a week consistently since filming, and I believe I'm right under where the, um, shoot, what's this called? The label is, so like right here. When I hold it up to light, oh, actually, no, I'm lower than that. I'm about here. So, right here on the bottle. I don't know if I'm going to mark this because I grab it after I get out of the shower, so I might end up just wiping it off over time. Um, so, yep, yeah, there's... I feel like there's going to be like slow but steady progress on these two because I use this one every day and I just use this one every week. Moving on, I have my Tony Moly Mascara. And this is the Circle Lens Mascara Delight. And I'm starting to like this less. Like, it doesn't hold my curls as well anymore. And it is not waterproof, but it doesn't smudge on me when it comes off for some strange reason. Um, it kind of flakes off like tubing mascara, which I've also discovered I cannot wear because it irritates my eyes. So I think I'll just be sticking to my hair and make. Kiss Me mascara from now on, but this was a pretty good mascara and I will continue to use it for like another month or so. There's still plenty of product in here. It's not bad, but it's not good. It's just very natural and yeah, I don't know if I would repurchase this ever again because this is my second time repurchasing this product. So we'll see. Next, I have one of my holy grails, although this one is also starting to like fall out of favor. This is my Too Faced Sketch Marker in Deep Espresso. And when you first open this and you apply it, you get the sharpest cat um yeah, you get the sharpest cat eyes that you could ever ask for. And I'm wearing it today, but I don't know if you can tell from like this far away. And over time, it starts to become less opaque, like when you use a highlighter a little bit too much, you know how some of it comes out like thick and like more opaque than other lines? This is kind of what is happening with this, so I'm just leaving it like upside down so that it drains, or so that the color will drain to the tip. But other than that, I'm going to use this until it is not opaque at all because sometimes I still get opaque lines but right now um, well basically when it becomes completely streaky I will stop using this because I have only used this for one month okay next moving on I have my MAC refined golden uh, bronzer so I'll be honest I got a new bronzer this month was it one or two I excuse me I got a new bronzer this month, but I've been playing with two bronzers this month, so this has been completely ignored. There has been no progress since the last update, pretty much. Yes, there is a dent in it. You can probably you probably can't see it, 
but there's a dent in here and the mirror is so gross. <laughs> but I'm just going to put this away for now because um, I just want to post my other highlighters and this isn't like a favorite favorite. And next I have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. This, I feel like I'm really low on it and I might have like a month or two left of this. And my scale broke, which is why I'm not weighing anything. And I figured I should start taking pictures, but we'll see. It, it's hard to take pictures when of like opaque bottles like this. But anyway, this is my favorite setting spray of all time. I have four of these because... You know, also sell some in two packs, so I pick up two packs, um, or I picked up a pack of two, liked it so much, I picked up another one before they stopped selling them, um, for the season, and yeah, I just really like this, use this every single day I wear makeup, and it really does help last all day, I've said this many times before, but I, I use this once, and I accidentally wiped my eyes and I was like, oh shit, because I saw eyeshadow all over my finger. But when I looked in the mirror, it looked like it, like my eyes had never been touched, which was amazing. So I know this stuff works. So I used up a couple of items, but they're not in this video. They're in my empties video, which you can go watch or something. I feel like it was a really bad idea to do that, like have an empties video before. <laughs> filming the project fan video, but anyway, um, so I used up my Haskell shampoo, that didn't take very long at all because it was really close to being empty, and then I also used up my skin food rice mask, yeah, rice wash off mask, um, I really liked it, and I actually have three more, so I'm not, like, sad about using that up, and... I used up, or not used up, I had to declutter um, my lip because, my lip balm because it was just, it felt like it was always melting, like the consistency on it was always wet. Even though I would wipe it, it would go back to being melting. And it was so gross, I decided to just toss it. So there's that one, and it's out, I'm not going to count it because. Even though it was so close, I had like, you can't see, but like, this much left on it. I had so little left of it, and I was so close to finishing it, but I couldn't. Um, that, it's disappointing, but I just can't use that product anymore without like, feeling grossed out. <laughs> so, I'm also going to be putting this back. So, I have five items that I'm keeping here and I'm I got rid of four items or four items left to my collection but for some strange reason I cannot for the life of me remember my last product which makes me think I only actually had nine products in my last video so I just picked five new products because I only have five here since I filmed this video yesterday I already picked the products um, and I wasn't about to just pick new products all over again. This is a randomized project pan, which means that if I pick an item, I have to use it. So, yeah, I, I really don't have a choice when it comes to the, this stuff. So, the first item I pulled was this. This is my Too Faced Peach Lip Balm. And this was actually in a previous project pan. This is how much I have left on it. I could have hit pan a long time ago, but I just chose not to. I don't know why, but it would be good to get this used up. As for this product, it smells so good, um, but I use this at night and it leaves this like very waxy feeling when I wake up in the morning and I hate it. So I should probably just try to use this in the office as an office lip balm, but there's just something that the about like leaving this at work that doesn't sit well with me like oh what if I forget to wash my hands um, after touching the keyboard and I use this and this is like where you dip your fingers in and it's just the culmination of germs so yeah I need to figure out a way to use this but there is some pretty good progress on here 
It was pretty expensive too. I don't think I would repurchase it for the full price. I'd rather just buy the lip gloss. Even though that is more expensive. The next product I pulled is Flitter. This is an ultra metallic lip from ColourPop. And I don't know if y'all noticed, but ColourPop raised their prices again by 50 cents for not their palettes, but for like their lips and their eyeshadows. So, not that happy with them. Oh, and their eyebrows, which sucks because I'm not gonna get into it, but they just raised their prices. Um, this is like a metallic rose gold color, and honestly, on its own, it doesn't look that great. But with like Wolfie layer layered on top of it, it looks amazing because uh, Wolfie is kind of like a duochrome, and this is also a duochrome, so it looks very nice. I'm not wearing this today because I tried to wear it today, and it looked gross on top of my lipstick. So this definitely definitely needs to be worn under something else and not on top of something. But yeah, I pulled it and as for this product, I, I'm just gonna push... See, this is so old, it's the doe foot applicator. <laughs> okay, so I'm about right here, if you can see that window. So like... I don't have that much left actually. I have less than half and with this product, I don't like it enough to remove the stopper to get everything up. So as soon as I hit like down here where the doe foot is only reaching the tip, I will stop using this because I just want to get it out of my collection. Moving on, I have, <laughs> I pulled a body lotion. This is my Nature's Gate body lotion in the scent Pomegranate Sunflower. I picked this up at Sprouts about in October, yeah, and it smells really good. It smells like Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction. Mmm, it smells really good. And I used this to make my like body lava lotions. I would mix this with some highlighter and sunscreen. And that's how I made Ratchet Cheap Body Lava. And it's also very moisturizing. And on the bottle it says, Soy free, vegan, gluten free, paraben free, anti meat eater, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. What's wrong with soy? Anyway, um, I really like this lotion. I was working on another lotion just on my own. It was a Lush um, Naked Body Lotion, but now that this is like an official product that I have to work on, I'll be focusing on this a lot more and I will try to get more batteries for my scale and weigh this after the video. But it's less than halfway. Next product, surprise! <laughs> this is my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and I'm in the shape Deep Bronzer. For the This is what it looks like. And this smell reminds me of the summer when I just wanted this so bad and now every time I smell this I think of all the YouTubers who tricked me into buying this. <laughs> I hated this product at first. This is what mine looks like. It's pretty much untouched. I mean there's some scratches from my brush um, from just normal use and yeah. A lot of people really like this, they say it's their holy grail. I'm wearing it today, I don't know if I blended it out enough or not, but I just like did a three shape on um, both sides of my face to kind of contour it and bronze it a little. And at first I hated this because it didn't show up on me because in the summer I get quite tan. Right now I actually don't mind it, I don't like the smell that much. Smells like fake coconuts um, and sunscreen. So yeah, not a huge fan of the smell, but it it's an all right product. Like I'm starting to like it more, so maybe I won't get rid of it. At first, I was going to just get rid of it because I barely used it, and I know a friend who would love to get this, and she's a lot more fair than me, so she could use this for a majority of the year. But 
if I like it, I'm just gonna keep it. For primers, I have this, or not for primers, I put this primer, which is the No Pore Blem Primer by Touch and Soul, and I love this so much. I don't know if you can tell, but I hope I don't look greasy at all, and that's because I used this primer today. Um, ever since pulling it, I was like, yes, so I put away my other primer, um, which was like the Pore Putty Primer from Kiana Pate, something like that. It's a Japanese primer that I just picked up from the grocery store. But I like this so much more. I don't think there's silicone in here. It smells like fruits. No, it smells like flowers. It smells so good. It's like very light and fresh. And it like makes my skin look so good. Like the after a few days of using this, I went to the bathroom and I was like, holy shit, there's no oil on my face. And that's like really, really rare. So I love this a lot. And it might reach holy girl status i don't know clearly i haven't used that much like i have used some if i spin the bottle i would say i used about three weeks worth so there's a lot of primer left in here and at first i could use like one pump for my whole face but i guess now my face absorbs it faster or something so i need to use two pumps if i want to do my whole face but i'm only using this on my t-zone because I don't feel like wasting this on my cheeks at the moment, especially since I have this primer. So yeah, that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video and these updates. So yeah, thanks for watching.